With the continuous development of 5G, we are entering the era of the Internet of Everything. What is the Internet of Vehicles? As the name suggests, it is a network that connects cars to cars, cars to people, and everything to everything. Everything includes terminals such as cell phones and computers, traffic infrastructure such as roads, signals, and crosswalks, and information infrastructures such as servers, cameras, and data centers. All these things are connected to form the special IoT Internet of Vehicles. As we all know, our car is composed of engines, tires, bearings, air conditioning, radar, cameras, and other components. These components will generate a large amount of data, through the data can monitor the operating status of the vehicle and the external environment, and responsible for the collection, aggregation, and sent to the vehicle control core and the user's internal network, the formation of the car internal network. The intranet is a local area network, which realizes the information transmission of the car itself, laying the initial cornerstone for the realization of the Internet of Vehicles. With the in-car network, experts began to think about how to extend it and connect it to the external network, which is a difficult problem. The internal devices of the vehicle connected to the in-vehicle network are relatively stationary with each other, and the cars that need to be connected to the Internet of Vehicles are moving at high speed most of the time. In addition, it is difficult to connect complex environments such as mountains, bridges, and tunnels. The more popular Internet of Vehicles technology in the early days is DSRC, Dedicated Short-Range Communication, which is similar to installing Wi-Fi on the side of the road, allowing vehicles to communicate through Wi-Fi. However, DSRC is a short-range communication technology, which means that the density of nodes needs to be increased, and the capital and time costs will be doubled several times. As a result, experts need to find a technology with a longer communication distance and stronger coverage to support the development of the Internet of Vehicles. By 2019, 5G will have matured and become commercially available. 5G is a communications technology with higher rates, greater bandwidth, and lower latency. Especially the low latency feature, which is necessary for the ultimate goal of the Internet of Vehicles. Why is 5G technology more suitable for the Internet of Vehicles? Please share your ideas in the comment zone.